the heck was that? Did you guys hear that? This is a click it to hit it personal box for Dennett. Brought to you by the Fat Cat. Stop on by anytime, find Keneal, and enjoy a meal. The Fat Cat in Quincy. Good luck! Alright, Dennett, thanks, dude. Stop in, find Keneal, and have a meal. <laughs> Carter, please don't be mad at me because you had the angels tonight and didn't get any monsters. I mean, I don't think it's fair that you take your anger out on me, your personal online card concierge, just because, you know, you didn't get any monster hits tonight. <laughs> What's your channel again on there, Carter? Oh, my God. I'll give you guys one guess who told me about that channel. Oh, man. Here you go, Dennis. Or Dennett. Denny. Do they call you Denny? Well, Carter, why don't you just charge me back and, and tell PayPal you thought you got the whole box or something. Well, we're going to get Denny a... Uh, we're going to get Denny a trout. Because he is in here. Whoops. Now, Denny, these are all your cards, dude. Do you want all these cards? They're absolutely all yours, or are you looking for just like the inserts, numbereds? Some guys like Carter and many of my other collector friends despise all this base. Numbered to 99, Jason Schrader. Yeah, I go by Nick. Nobody calls me Danny, dude. Chris. Funny story about this pro debut, remember? It came out like last week at this time, and I remember seeing my order, and I was like, dude, I didn't order pro debut. I hate that stuff. It's all minor league guys. It's hard to do breaks with because they're in these little weird small market teams. We've got to look them up. And they go, yeah, dude, but, you know, it helps your allocations. You buy from tops. And I said, well, I don't think by buying a case or two of this is going to get me more museum collection or triple threads so I canceled it about two hours later I start looking at the checklist and see that there's Trout and Fernando Tatis and Vladimir Guerrero alright Dennett no problem ooh Yu Chang banner from Huntington Park Apparently, they're pretty good as they are AAA champions. So, Dennett, I got to ask you. Um, is breaking brand new to you? Novel still? Are you a seasoned break spot buyer? Do you like all sports? There is a monster product coming out from TriStar in a week or two. Holy crap. Mm. 
My point was, after I told them to go ahead and release it back into the wild, or of course I saw that it was dope, and I texted him and said, do you by chance still have that pro debut? He goes, you mean you one you just called and yelled at me about? Nope, I sure don't. <laughs> That'll learn me, right? Okay. Yeah, that's what's driving the market, Denny, is guys that are my age, you know, I'm heading on 30. Or not. There's the Mike Trout. I told you we we're going to get a Mike Trout. I didn't say what Mike Trout, but I told you we we're going to get a Mike Trout. Uh, there's a lot of guys in their 30s to 40s age that used to collect in the 80s and the 90s. There's Mason. His brother's Phil McCracken. And they're now getting back into collecting and can sit up late at night. Kids go to bed. Pass the time. You can't go to your card shop at 11 p.m. But you'll be able to come to this card shop at 11 p.m. Provided I got somebody out on the floor to watch the shop. What if Dennett was actually Denning? He changed his name to Dennett. I mean, he is buying baseball after all. Like Denning. Carter, dude, you would so be... If there was, honestly... If there was literally two people that I would choose and I know would be perfect to literally manage this shop, be the general manager, it literally would be you and Tyson. You two would just be a godsend, not to keep kissing your ass, but you guys would be a godsend gift if you guys lived here or moved here, which I know is not going to happen. Just based on your guys' knowledge, your skill set, People skills, work ethic. I told you, just move here and work at the casino. Imagine if all of my time could be spent on marketing and sales and promotions and finding other ways to make the company money. That's what I'm good at. You could come in and be like, all right, Chris, this is who we're going to use to do the books. This is how we're going to do this and that. Bishop Braden, or Braden Bishop, I mean. Arkansas Travelers. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to make us some extra money? If I couldn't pay you all that you wanted to start, I mean, I am, I am a startup shop. I suppose I could do what everyone else does and take out a true small business loan for like a hundred grand. <laughs> Here's a hundred thousand dollars for your small business. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Hire a staff. Buy your inventory. No, thank you. I, no, thank you. I will not be doing that. Like I see these other guys that are buying shops now. There's definitely, of course there is. I'm always in front of the curve. All these people are out buying shops now. The guy, old guys are selling them, the old timers. They're like, I'm done with it, man. Sell it to you whippersnappers. So the young bucks are coming in and buying them out. But hell, I don't know where they're getting, where are they getting the money to buy a card shop? They gotta be near $100,000 or more. To buy a card shop, I would think. Neil, does that sound about right? A beer and wine license. Yeah, I know, man. 
That could be a real shop lounge. Number to 50. Jonathan Hernandez. Maybe I'll inquire about it. The city of Elgin. I mean, there's a little cafe two doors down from me. So if they don't have it, I don't see how I could get it. There is a kitchen, like a little mini kitchen in the back. With a sink. A sink with running water. Does that mean I can have a restaurant? Bar? If you you could you can make a living here on that. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Go make fifty grand at the casino and then work here to start. Build up. You know, part time. Grow into full time. Or work here full time in the casino part time. That's what you would do. The Smokies, number to fifty uniforms. Open <laughs> top. I don't even know if there's any around here, Carter. I live in the Christian Belt, so there is no adult bookstores in the Elgin area. This whole town is white Protestant Christian or something very close to that. There's a Christian church or a school on every corner around here. What does Elgin stand for? Oh man, I thought that was going to be an autograph of Brendan. It was backwards, so it must be something. <laughs> then open it, right? I'm saying I don't think the, the board in the village in the city, they wouldn't let that happen. My opinion. You know how they feel about that stuff. I mean, Carter, you can open up a... Lover's Lane. There's a Lover's Lane here. That's kind of like... That's an adult store. Lover's Lane, it's called. There's one in West Dundee where my old office was. Not Elgin, but it's in West Dundee. The next town over. Lover's Lane. thought we had one more to go there's Keegan from the Smokies Lover's Lane is basically picture a retail store of adult stuff like oils and lubricants and toys and you know outfits kind of the stuff you like to wear like black leather and spikes and stuff you can that's probably where you would go buy all that there you go Denny so I'll ship this one over to you. Unless you really want me to open it.
There you go. Welcome, Dennett Hansel. <laughs> what was I sighing about? There, I put Mike Trout's auto on it. I'll ship that to you, Dennett. These are Dennett's. Man, I like saying that name. Dennett. I'm guessing Dennett is of German descent. Would be my guess. Being of German descent myself. I'm really like, you guys think I'm kidding around when we say stuff like that. I'm really trying to get Carter. I think Carter would have a better chance to move here than Tyson. Like sometimes in life, man, or many times in life, depending, you got to just do it. You just got to take a chance. I mean, it's the worst can happen. You lose everything. It becomes a sham. Country goes into a recession. So what? Everyone's in a recession. So we're all in the same boat. Oh, see, we got to bring in the Australians. Okay, let's do this final dual box. Do I have to show you guys how to close stuff out? You know what happens every time that happens, right? I get the monsters. All right, it's running mini for the last spot. Oh, Carter. <laughs> Swollen goods. Carter, did you want one or two? You put yourself in for the final two, D hole. All right, so we're going to run a mini for the last spot. Hey, Dennett, do you know what minis are? Are you familiar with how a mini is run? If you are, then I don't have to go into the ex explanation. What the heck was that? Here you go, Carter.
This is for you, Anthony. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Butane in my veins, and I'm out to cut the junkie with the plastic eyeballs. Spray paint the vegetable dog food stalls with the beefcake pantyhose. Kill the headlights and put it in neutral. Stock car flaming with the loser and the cruise control. Babies in Reno with the vitamin D. Got a couple of couches. Sleep on the love. Yeah. Someone came saying I'm insane to complain about a shotgun waiting in a stain on my shirt. Don't believe everything that you breathe. You got a parking violation and a maggot on your sleeve. So shave your face with some mace in the dark. Saving all your food stamps and burning down, down the trailer park. park. Yo. Carter. I'll have to check that out. Choke it on a splinter. Dude, this is your favorite show, Glee. So break it on down. I can't play Beck's version or else I'll get blocked. But I can play this. Things are going to change. I can feel it. Man, this song just brings a smile to my face, yo. I do like butter tarts. Hey Matt. Yeah, Sam. Hey, have you talked to Mark lately? Uh, I haven't really talked to him, but he looks pretty uh, down. <laughs> he looks pretty uh, down. Yeah, well, maybe we should cheer him up then. What do you uh, suppose we should do? Well, does he like butter tarts? I was lying on the grass a Sunday morning of last week, indulging in my self Tyson doesn't know it, but he has two spots in this mini that I'm going to send him an invoice for. I just played Blame It on the Rain the other night. Or was that here? No, I did play it. Someone actually said that at the cookout. So they were talking like, ah, oh, well, I blame it on the rain. Of course, I had the music I was controlling, and I said, did somebody say Blame It on the Rain? See, Carter, if you lived here, you could do stuff like that. Once these final two mini spots, it would cost you $14. You can win a $60 spot if your name ends up on the top of the randomizer. I 
it's up for me. Carter, text one of your degenerate friends or something. Text one of your degenerate friends that are in other break rooms and tell them we're doing a mini. And tell them to get over here and get in it. D-hole. D-hole. They don't? Oh, well, they suck then. What about that one dude I met at the National that was buying all kinds of stuff back last year at the National? Is he still doing that, by the way? The Armenian guy? Remember the Armenian guy? He looked like a bad guy from uh, James Bond at the National? What is he doing nowadays? Oh, well, that's what we can do. We'll put them in. And put Smash in it. Do you want it or do you want me to give it to Smash? We just invoice each other each week. I think you put me in a mini the other night. Name on top shall be in Kneel. I'm going to invoice Tyson for $14. Hey, Tyson. Smash, I'm going to invoice you for $14. <laughs> hey, I put you in minis last night, dudes. Send me your $14. Like, I didn't want to be in a mini. But if they win, oh, dude, thanks, man. How much I owe you? <laughs> I love human nature. I love it. Okay, now let's run this bad boy. Dual box, divisional. Carter, if you're listening, my friend, in order to preserve my brain, since you're at work during the day and I know you like doing this kind of stuff, can you add some more breaks for tomorrow night, please? Which would be more leather and lumber. We're cracking a fresh case tonight for this dual box. So there'll be eight left. Maybe we can do another five box half case triple team tiered for tomorrow tomorrow night. And, and more splitters. Yeah, tomorrow. The splitters are good. They seem to be a hit.
Do you like butter tarts? So, you are a philosopher? Wonder if Neil knows what that is, my hip hop friend. So, you're a philosopher? Yes. Yes. Ticket, ticket, yes. Be super impressed if he knows what that is. I know Ed does.